The shell also has a mechanism to start a command that detaches the command from the terminal to turn it into a so-called background process such that you immediately get access to the shell again. Such commands then of course can't read from standard input. To start such a background uh, process you just put an ampersand behind the command. So here we start command ampersand and the shell immediately reports that the command has been started by outputting two numbers. The first one here in square brackets is known as the job number um, and that is a number that only has meaning within the current shell and the second number here is the process ID. That's how the um, kernel refers to the process uh, in which this command is now running. And you can send an entire uh, pipe into uh, a background uh, job and this is the main difference between uh, a process ID and a job number. A job number refers to an entire pipe whereas a process ID refers to the individual process. So there are two processes here. This is only the, uh, the last of these processes or the second one here. So there are actually two processes running but together those two processes form for the shell one job and this is job number two. <clears throat> so what we're doing here is we start a program called test run. We start it in the uh, test run is an executable in the current working directory. Uh, if the current working directory isn't in the uh, path variable then we have to explicitly tell the shell to find the current working directory by writing dot slash test run. The slash in the command line will uh, prevent the shell from searching this command via the path variable. Uh, then we send standard output, standard error to the uh, same uh, location where standard output goes. And as a result, both standard error and standard output together are now piped into another command, in this case a compression tool uh, to which we pass an option that says we want high compression and we want to read from standard input what needs to be compressed and the output uh, of this compression tool we want to write into results.gz. gz is a suffix that's commonly associated with uh, files that have been compressed by the gzip tool. And that entire pipeline here we want to run in the background. Presumably test run is some um, longer running program and therefore we want to be able to use the shell again long before this program has finished which is why we put an ampersand afterwards. You can even start several jobs in the same command line. You just uh, write several commands and each of these commands you follow with an ampersand. So this is a little bit similar to the semicolon but all of these will be started in parallel and this is not a separator the ampersand follows the command. So here you can see we have created three jobs with three process IDs. There's a <clears throat> jobs command that will output all the jobs that are still running and there's a default uh, job that is the one that has last stopped that needs attention of some kind that will be marked with a plus sign. So the shell distinguishes between foreground jobs and background jobs. A foreground job is one where standard input is connected to your terminal and the display of the shell prompt is delayed until the process exit and if you use the keyboard to deliver a signal um, to an application then this signal will get delivered to this single foreground job that's currently attached to the terminal. In contrast to that in a background job something that you've started with the uh, by following the command with the ampersand character standard input is disconnected uh, from the terminal. If the program tries to read from standard input that will actually suspend the job and the next shell prompt will appear immediately after you've started a background uh, job. There's no way to uh, 
submit via the keyboard a signal to the job uh, because uh, the keyboard driver wouldn't know which of possibly many background jobs uh, the signal is intended for. And the shell will print out a notification before it prints the prompt the next time to inform you whether a job has terminated. <coughs> There's a number of signals that you can send to foreground jobs by pressing certain control keys. Uh, the precise keys you can change yourself with the STTY tool, but the three most important uh, default keys are if you press control C, that will send the interrupt interrupt signal to a process. Um, this is in C also called the SIGINT signal or signal number two. And <clears throat> by default, if a process receives the interrupt signal, it aborts. However, a, a process is able to intercept that signal by registering a signal handler. That's a subroutine that will be called if the signal has been received and the expected semantics is that the process then tidies up its affairs and terminates. So you can usually terminate an application in a polite way by pressing Ctrl C because the application has a opportunity to clean up uh, after itself. A more brutal way of um, terminating a process is pressing control backslash, that's the so-called quit signal. Uh, this can be useful for debugging because the quit signal not only immediately terminates the process, it also causes the uh, kernel to take the entire memory of the process and write it out in a so-called core dump file. These are often called uh, core or core and then as a suffix the, uh, the process ID. And you can then use a debugger to look inside this core file what the state of the program was at the time you aborted it with a sick quit. You can also send a stop or suspend signal by pressing Ctrl Z and that will just take a process out of the uh, run queue and it will then be in a similar state as a process that for example uh, tried to uh, read, if, if, a, if a background process tries to uh, read. So uh, you will have control over the terminal again, but the process hasn't terminated. You can um, activate it again. Uh, you can cause it to resume. Um, <clears throat> there are additional signals. The Perhaps most famous one is the sick kill signal or signal number nine that destroys a process uh, immediately without giving the uh, process any opportunity to handle that signal. So in a sense, it, be it behaves similar to the uh, quit signal, but it doesn't produce a core dump. Um, there are three job control commands in the shell. Uh, the FG command resumes a suspended job in the foreground. The BG command resumes a suspended job in the background and kill sends a signal to either a job or a process. All three of these commands expect as their command line argument either a decimal number, that's then the process ID. If the decimal number is prefixed uh, with a percent sign, then it's interpreted instead as a job number. This is the number that you got in square brackets or from the uh, jobs command. But you can also write percent and the name of the command and then the shell will look in its job list whether it has a command of that name in case you've forgotten what the job number is. A very common use of uh, the background command is if you, for example, by accident started an application as a foreground process, but you actually wanted to start it as a background process. For example, if it's a GUI application such as Ghost View, that's a PostScript file viewer, um, you've already started it. You could now press Control uh, C and then type Ghost View uh, 
um, ampersand in order to start it again as a background process but a little bit easier less wasteful is instead you suspend that process by pressing ctrl z then the shell will tell you that job number six has now been uh, stopped and now if you just type bg you can see from the plus sign this is the last job that has been uh, stopped this is now the default job so if you don't give any argument to bg it will send job number six into the background it will turn it into a background process it therefore will resume but this time disconnected from the terminal so you immediately get another prompt and then if you want to terminate that program you can just write kill percent six and the default signal that kill sends is the sig int uh, signal so this is the command line equivalent of pressing ctrl c uh, for a uh, foreground process and a couple of more things um, <clears throat> kill minus nine will send the sick kill signal to a process so this is usually recommended to only be used as a last resort first you try to kill a process give it a couple of seconds if it really doesn't want to die for example because it's hanging on some resource that the operating system kernel isn't able to release then or because it uh, tried to intercept the um, it tried to intercept the uh, sig in signal but then misbehaved while doing so then you can get rid of the process with kill minus nine by forcefully terminating it the job command will only show you the jobs of the current shell whereas the ps and the top command they can list the entire process table which shows you not only processes started from other shells but also started by other users i'm not going to list here all the many options of in particular the ps command because unfortunately they differ quite significantly between the system 5 and the bsd uh, derivatives and uh, the the new version of ps supports both and you get one convention if you start the command line options with a hyphen and without a hyphen you get the other syntax it's unfortunately a somewhat messy tool the standardization hasn't worked very well here and um, in addition to the most recently stopped default process you can refer with percent minus to the previously stopped process so uh, you can easily switch between uh, several programs by just pressing ctrl z and then uh, get with percent fg uh, with fg percent minus the previously used program back into the uh, foreground so maybe as a little exercise start an editor then suspend the editor with uh, Control z then start a second editor suspend it as well and then get the first editor back into the foreground with uh, fg and then terminate it then use fg to get the other editor back into the foreground and terminate as well to get a little bit of feeling for how this works dealing with uh, a set of foreground and background processes and in between you can look at all of them with the jobs command <clears throat> 